Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to a very special episode of Plasma Channel. An Italian YouTuber by the name of Rubert33 and I have teamed up to talk about and demonstrate a fascinating property of water. But before we begin, I have to give you a very solid warning to not duplicate what you see us doing today. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you will kill yourself. Now we've always been taught that water is conductive, so mixing water and electricity, that's dangerous, right? But what if I told you that water really isn't conductive, it's rather an insulator. Okay, so that just happened. The light bulb was submerged under water and I poured water on top of it and no short circuit. Just as we were taught growing up, tap water, rain water, and well water do indeed conduct electricity very well, which is why they are an extreme danger around electricity. But that's just the trick though. I didn't use tap water or well water or rain water. I'm talking about water. Pure chemical H2O, like the distilled water that I used, actually is not conductive. Believe it or not, it's one of the best insulators known to science. Now I want to have plenty of demonstrations on this, and luckily, Roberto over in Italy, that's his specialty. So let's head over there. Using a light bulb, a transformer, and a hair dryer, Roberto is going to show us exactly how insulating water is. Now, as a control, you can see and hear all three devices functioning normally. Grabbing demineralized water, which is the same thing as distilled water, he begins to pour the water over those devices. And you'll notice they're functioning perfectly. And let's go ahead and expose the high current heating elements as well. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That was a hair dryer you saw put under the water. And more strangely, not only did it not short circuit, but it actually turned into a bit of a water pump. That's actually pretty cool. Now we do wanna show there's no trickery here and that these are not waterproof plugs. Now I know what you're thinking, why in the world would you put your hands in water that has a cord in it? That is so irresponsible, right? Well actually the fact of the matter is that pure water is upwards of 81 times less conductive than air itself. Meaning your hands are actually safer under the water. Roberto knows this, which is why he's putting his hands under water. Okay, by now we've hit home the point that pure water simply is not conductive. So what makes this glass of tap water conductive while this glass of distilled water is one of the best insulators known to science? What's the difference? Ions, dear Watson, ions. Tap water, rainwater, and well water all contain dissolved ions from sodium, potassium, calcium, and iron, which makes the water highly conductive. Unlike this glass of distilled water with nothing in it. And there are some really interesting experiments you can do using high voltage and DI water. One of which will be on Plasma Channel's next episode. I believe I also speak for both Roberto and I when I say thank you very much for watching this episode. If you feel like you learned something cool today, something unique, maybe the fact that water is actually an insulator, do us a massive favor and leave a like, leave a comment, uh, ask us a question, and share the video with people who you think it might also intrigue. But most importantly of all, don't forget to subscribe to both Roberto's channel and Plasma channel. Click the box to your left to view our last episode on ionic thrust. Links to the episode and both channels will be down below. You stay classy.